I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from previous test paper. This is on inclusion and exclusion principles. The question is, a survey of 200 grade 12 MPSJ students produced the following data. 102 had a computer, 73 had a DVD player, 98 had a CD player, 41 had both a computer and DVD player, 33 had both a DVD player and a CD player, 21 had both a computer and a CD player, 12 had all three items. Now based on this, you have three questions. How many had none of them? So how many have none of them, none of these items? Okay, that is the first option. The second is, first question is, how many have none of these items? The second, part B is, how many have one item only? And then how many have exactly two of these items? So these are the three questions based on the information given. You can pause the video, answer, and then check with my solution. Now we could always do or solve this question with the help of Venn diagrams. Now what we see here is students have computers, DVD players and CD players. So we need three different circles. So let me draw three circles first. So, so these are the three circles. So one and then overlapping. Okay. And then another one, which, so we have some intersection also. Okay. So these are the three circles for us. Now, how to fill in the information? The best way is to start from the center most, I mean, common to all. So let's first label. So people may have, students may have computers. So let me write this circle for computer. So let me use a different ink here. Okay, let's use this, so computer. Okay, and then we have DVD player. So let's say this is for DVD player. And then we have one for CD player. So this is for CD player. Okay. Now, the idea is to start from the innermost, which is 12 had all three items. So, so 12 goes here. All three means these 12 have computer, DVD player, and CD player, right? Now, it's very important to put them in a box also so that we have, okay, so this is the box. Okay. Now, so we have 12 had all the three items, so this 12, computer, DVD, and CD player. Now let's move upwards. 21 had both a computer and a CD player. So combination of these two, right? Computer and CD player. That means this portion should be 21. Now, we, all, we already know 12 are there. So this portion is 21 minus 12. So you should do 21 minus 12 to get the number here, right? So that is nine so i'm placing nine you cannot check nine plus 12 is 21 correct now 33 had both dvd player and cd player so that means dvd and cd set means combination of these two is 33 so we could do 33 minus 12 and get our answer right so so this is 33 33 had both DVD player and CD player. So DVD and CD, that is the combination, right? So 33 minus 12 will give us 21. So we are left with 21 here, right? So you can add and check, that's a good thing. 41 had both computer and DVD. So computer and DVD is 41. 12 is common, so we'll do 41 minus 12, right? So once you do that, we get 29 and so so this is 29 for us now, 98 had a cd player 
So CD player total should be 98. To get this number here, what are we going to do? We'll do 98, take away, add all these three, which is 9 plus 12 plus 21 right so you can also use the calculator at this stage so 98 take away 12 take away 21 take away 9 and then write down 56 so we are left with 56 here on cd player 73 had a dvd player right so dvd player is 73 so from 73 we have to take away 29, 12, and 21. So 29 plus 12 plus 21, right? So let's do it. 73, take away 29, take away 12, take away 21. And that gives us 11. So we get 11 here. Now 102 had computers. So 102 take away these three items, which are 29 plus 12 plus 9. So 102 take away 29, take away 12, take away 9. That gives you 52. Okay, so So, we'll, so, so we have 52 here, right? So we have 52 right there. So 52 have computers in this case. So that is how you can get all the information within these circles. Now, let's get back to part A of the question, which is how many have none of these items? So in all, we have 200 students, right? So out of that, these are the students who have these items. Let us see how many have these items. So what we will do is, we'll do 200, take away all this. So let's add them up, right? So let's add them up. So we'll start in a sequence. We say 52 plus 29. So I'm adding these first, plus 11, and then these three plus 9, plus 12, plus 21, and then 56, plus 56, that gives us 190, right? So, so we'll take away 190, and that leaves us over 10, right? So, so there are 10 students who will have none of these items, correct? Now, the second question is, how many have one item only so as you can see here these are the students who have one item only right so so we can combine these 52 plus 56 plus 11 and that gives us plus 56 i mean 52 plus 56 plus 11 and that is 119 so 119 have exactly one of these items the last question is how many have exactly two of these items well in that case you need to combine these numbers right two of these items so that is 29 plus 9 plus 21 right so it is 29 plus 9 plus 21 and that gives you 59 so it is equals to 59. So like this, you can solve such questions. Now the important thing here is try to analyze how many circles should you be making. Since there are three items, three circles overlapping as shown here. And to fill in the data, we should start from the area which is common to all and then go outwards. That is probably the best way of solving such questions. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.